that all that we'll we'll get to the point where we can uh we'll show you how we put together that 30 egg turner to go in here and uh after that we'll be doing a uh a live test of uh running the temperature adjustment and that'll wrap it up Bang. hi guys next morning i'm um, gonna cover we're gonna wrap this thing up with our incubator build here the um you look right here we drilled some quarter inch holes two at the top like this right here two at the top and around the perimeter of the bottom here two on this side and one on this side right here the um because the cooler has got a natural uh hole right here a drain hole that you can open up if you need it and uh but we're gonna we're gonna show you how we've adjusted on this thing. We'll be back in just a minute. We've got it holding at 99.6, and uh, we're satisfied with that. And that's where we're gonna leave it. We uh, see here on the back. We bundled our wires real neat, tied them up with wire ties, right here. See where your inverter hangs right here, plugged up. It's all one unit. One power cord powers the whole unit. It's done nice and neat with your adjustment right here on the back to adjust the thermostat. We're going to cut a piece of hardware cloth here. We're going to cut a piece of hardware cloth to fit in the bottom. We just take a measurement and then we'll take a pair of tin snips like this right here and we'll cut it out with what we measure in the bottom of our cooler and then this will sit in there. This will permanently sit in there for the chicks to hatch on. It also helps hold the turner. Then we'll get to the final segment. We'll get to how we're going to set up this 38 turner right here to go in here. We'll be back in just a few minutes. All right, guys. Um, we've got to our turner. I picked these up off of eBay. They're commercial 30 egg um, trays. They're really stout and they're tough. But uh, it holds 30 eggs on the tray, inch and a half PVC. Measure it about the width. These things are they're concave in right here like this. So this pipe sits in here really good. As an example, inside your incubator, this is going to sit on the bottom of the incubator just like this right here works like a seesaw. You put your 30 eggs on here, then whenever it comes time to turn them, you just push down one side, 30 eggs turned. Reverse it later on, boom, 30 eggs turned. Okay? Very simple. Whenever it comes time to hatch, you just pull your eggs up, slide your pivot out, the PVC out, and lay these in the bottom of your incubator and, and hatch uh, in the tray. That's what we do. The chicks seem to fare better whenever we do that. That's just the way we do it. And you can leave all 30 of them in the tray and just let them hatch out of the tray. If uh, we're going to wrap this thing up here, this is the way we do it. So uh, this uh, this size incubator, these will stack, but for this size box, uh, you don't need to stack them any higher uh, than uh, than just one, uh, one tray high, which is 30. And um, I've got some that will stack to high, which would be 60 eggs in each tray and uh, so we've got our uh, let me see with the light back on here you can see it now it's cycled back on we've cut our hardware cloth to sit in the bottom of the incubator and uh, so let me I'm gonna set this in here and let you kind of see what it looks like when we get it set in here set your pivot in the bottom just set your tray in like this right here That'll be about the right spot to leave your thermometer, right here. And then I'll take t-shirt, shredded t-shirt, and put under this side, right on the floor, right here. And you can pour your water in when you add your water for your humidity. Pour it on your rag or on your um, your sponges or you, I use shredded t-shirt, cotton t-shirt. Pour it in right here on this side. And uh, this is enough space. It'll hold about 50% humidity. You want more, you put, add a little bit more water, the surface area to the bottom till you get the humidity where you want it. Hope this helps everybody out. I enjoy doing this. Hope to talk to you folks soon. RushLanePoultry.com. We'll see you.